Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to download and install the current Java version that is Java 22 on Windows 11. With that, after installing, we will also run our first Java program. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google type Oracle Java. Open the first website oracle.com. Here it is. Now go to top right and uh, click on download Java. After clicking, the downloads page would be visible. Go below and here are the versions. Current version Java JDK 22. Okay. We want for Windows, so click here. After that, uh, you can see three versions are visible. We will go for the following exe file for Windows 64 bit. This works for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'll click here. Download started. Let's wait. It's only 164 MB. The exe file downloaded. Let us start the installation. Right click, click open, minimize. Installation started. Click next. The files will get saved here. It will get installed in the C drive. Keep it as it is. Click next. Now it will install. We have installed. Click close. Now let us set the path. Go to the path wherein we installed Java. It was C drive, program files. Java open click on bin right click copy this path now go to start type environment variables click on the system environment variables that is edit the system environment variables. Click open. Now click environment variables. Here in go to path under system variables. Double click. Click new and right click paste the same path. Okay. Now click OK. OK and the last OK to apply it. Now let us verify the installation. Go to start. Type CMD. Click on open. Now CMD started. Type the command java space hyphen hyphen version. Press enter. If the following is visible, that means we successfully installed Java 22. Now let us create our first program quickly. Go to any drive. Let's say I'll I'll create a new file under D drive. Right click new. Click on the text document. Let's say I'll name the file studyopedia. Now you can see .txt is visible. For Java we want .java. So right click. Rename dot Java. When I'll keep the cursor here, it will ask me. Do you want to change the file name extension? Yes. So now we have our Java file. You can see Java source file. If you're not getting these extensions on Windows 11, no problem. Go to view, click show and select file name extensions. 
I already selected it therefore it is visible. I'll uncheck it to show you. Now you can see the extension vanished. Now you won't be able to change it. So it's good to just go to view show and click on file name extensions and rename it. Now we have our studyopedia.java file. Right click you can open it in notepad plus plus if you are having it or you can directly click on edit in notepad. Okay. Here it is. I'll show in notepad for everyone. Now let us write our first code quickly. So we will use the class keyword then the class name. Always remember in Java the class name should be equivalent to the file name. So our file name was studyopedia. Keep the class name as studyopedia. Now what we did we added public static void main. Public is our access specifier. Okay. Static basically allows the following main function to be called without the need to instantiate a particular instance. Okay, void is a return type. The main function gets called when the Java application begins. These are for command line arguments. Okay, now we are running our first program. So I'll, I'll just print something using the system predefined class dot out out is the output stream dot print ln is our method to print something. Let's say I'll print my name here. That's it. Add a semicolon and save it. Now we have our program in the D drive. Now guys go to the command prompt. I hope you know to switch to the D drive from C drive. You can just type D colon and and press enter. Remember you can create your program in any drive C D E F any drive. We have reached the D drive. Now let us check whatever we have here using the DIR command. Now you can see we have all these folders. We also have studyopedia.java this file. We will just compiler program type Java C means Java compilation space the file name the complete name studyopedia dot java okay and press enter we compiled it successfully and a new class file generated just now so this is the jvm concept java virtual machine concept now let us run it java space the file name while running do not mention the extension. Press enter. Now here it is. We successfully printed Amit Divan. This was our file. We printed uh, using system.out.println. So guys, you can easily install Java and run your first program. Now if you want a complete tutorial, go to our website Studyopedia. This is the link and go to our Java tutorial. Here it is. You can refer the complete tutorial. It is having around 38 lessons. Thank you for watching the video.